with 32 miles of track. Cat Metro's rail service comes in handy for commuters. My car is in the shop right now, so um, I live not too far away, so it's about a 10 minute bike ride. And I just decided I'm not going to miss my yoga class. But Thursday was the last day of service before a week long pause. I did notice that and I said, hmm, I'm really lucky. Cat Metro will be suspending all rail service from July 15th to the 23rd. We have a tremendous amount of work that we're trying to do. That includes tire replacement, installing new switches and an upcoming groundbreaking for their newest station in North Austin. And we're trying to get all these things into this uh, this one week window so that we can have it back up for next Sunday for the, the soccer game at Q2 Stadium. You may remember when Cap Metro had to slow trains due to overheating tracks. But Dex says despite the excessive heat we've continued to see, they've been able to manage. Where we had the really problem was when we saw the quick heat where it got really fast, really quickly, and the rail temperature shot up and, and didn't have you know time to regulate. So now we've had kind of had, for better or worse, we've had extended heat. So we see a lot of that moderate. This commuter beats the heat by enjoying a regular bike metro combo from the UT area to the domain for work. I usually uh, bike there in the morning and then take the train on the way back since it's pretty hot. Cat Metro's regular bus service is available during the pause and there will be an additional shuttle service serving select stations, but some may decide to stick with two feet or two wheels and brave the afternoon temps. The e-bikes are pretty heavy, so it's kind of hard to put on a bus. So yeah, I'll just uh, tough it out the whole way.